So, you've got a friend or family member through hiking a long trail like the Appalachian Trail or the Pacific Crest Trail, and you wanna support them in some way, but you're not sure how? I have some ideas for you. Hi guys, I'm Audrey on trail I'm known as Glow Stick. In 2018, I left my amazing job in Washington, D.C. through hike the Appalachian Trail from Georgia to Maine, and then I moved to Colorado, and now I make videos for you guys. Well, and I have a job, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. Welcome back if you have. All right guys, so I would say the easiest possible way that you can su support someone on a long distance hiking trail is you know, to send them some money. <laughs> there are a lot of things that you spend money on on a long trail. A lot, there are a lot more costs associated with it than you probably think. A through hike can be pretty expensive and a, a big reason that people get off trail is that they run out of money. So you could definitely support them financially and here are some areas that the money will probably be spent. On resupplies, on a nice hot restaurant meal in town. A restaurant meal can be the biggest difference in your morale. When you're coming out of the woods, you've been out there for a week, you've been rained on, you've been freezing, you've been hot, you're covered in bug bites. Sometimes all you want is a nice meal at a restaurant, especially when you've been eating camp food for days or weeks or months in the woods. So that's one area your money could go to. It could also go to staying at a hostel or hotel, uh, doing laundry, replacing gear that has broken down or isn't working for the person anymore. I had to replace a few things on my hike. Number one, I bought a summer sleeping bag once it stopped being super cold because I had a zero degree bag and I wanted something a lot lighter. I had to replace a water filter that stopped working. I had to spend some money to replace a couple of segments to my poles on my tent. There are just a lot of associated costs that you probably don't think about if you're not actually out there hiking a trail. So even a little bit of money, $5 to go buy a coffee when you're in town, $10 to go buy a meal, $25 to stay in a hostel, all of that stuff is so useful and it means so much to the hiker out there, I promise you. Another way that you can support a hiker out on a long trail is I mean, if you don't have anything financially to give, you can just give them words of encouragement, engage with, engage with their social media posts. Let them know that you care, that you're interested in their hike, that you hope they're doing well out there. And, and you know, there can be sometimes, like most of the time when I was on the trail, I was in really good spirits, but certainly there were a few times when it meant the world to me, when people would reach out to make sure I was doing okay. And it connected me to my friends and family and the outside world outside of the hiking community. So always reach out. Another way is if you live near a trail town, you could offer to give the person a ride from the trail into town so they can do their resupply, so they can go shower. You could offer for them to stay at your house. If you're near a trail town, I mean, you have no idea how much a shower <laughs> means when you've been filthy for all of this time out on the trail, a nice, soft, warm bed. I had a couple of friends along the AT who let me stay at their places and it meant the world to me. <laughs> it's just these little things. You don't have to make a big gesture. You can just let someone stay in your house for a day, give them a ride to town. And those small things mean so much to the person that's going on this long journey. And last but not least, you can send a care package. Hikers love getting care packages out on the trail. And so I brought over with me to the video today, I'm actually making a resupply box care package for some friends of mine that are on the Pacific Crest Trail right now. They were my friends from the AT, I hiked with them. Well, Ibex, who you guys have met if you've watched her interview, she and I hiked the entire AT together, and then she's out on the PCT right now with her boyfriend, Boy Bend, who would come to visit us on the AT, so I know him well. And then our friends Moss and Dory, who we met in Georgia, but then they hiked with us through the state of Maine. So they're all out on the PCT hiking southbound right now. So I put together a little care package for them. I haven't actually boxed it up to send it out yet. But the way that you can send care packages on the trail is a couple of different ways. Either you could send it to a hotel or hostel that you know they're gonna be staying at somewhere up the trail, 
or you could send it to a post office and write a little note for the post office to hold it there for that person. And so I would, you know, address this box to Natalie Ibex Parker, hold for pick up at the post office. And then I would put the address of the post office. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. I think I'm not exactly sure where I'm sending it yet, but the person that you know on the trail, if you tell them you want to send them a care package, they can help you figure out where to send it using, you know, whether they're using gut hook for navigation and they know what town they're going to be in next or in a couple of weeks, or if they know that a hostel or a hotel they're going to stay at, they can make sure to call in advance and say, Hey, is it okay if I get a package sent there? I'm going to be staying on my way, etc." So there are different ways that you can send out packages, but it's not hard to do. And I know that, I got a few care packages on the AT and it meant the world to me. My cousin even sent me like homemade cookies. My aunt sent me this amazing package full of all of these like delicious foods. And she sent me so many that I was able to share them with other hikers. So I wanted to give you some tips on what to include in a resupply box if that is what you're thinking of. Number one, homemade baked goods. That's like the best thing ever to get, especially if you if you are only sending in a couple days in advance so that these things aren't gonna go bad. I mean, my cousin sent me cookies. I was with other people who got cookies and brownies and other baked goods. And just like a taste of a homemade treat or like a taste of home goes such a long way. I'd also recommend sending these backpacker meals. There are several different kinds. You can get them at REI, you can get them on Amazon. I really like the Backpackers Pantry Pad Thai. That's my favorite, but I but these are kind of expensive. So when you're actually doing a thru hike, you're not likely to be buying these things all the time. They're more of a special treat. So they're like freeze dried or dehydrated backpacker meals. Um, there's different brands like Good to Go, Mountain House, Backpackers Pantry. These other ones I just got but haven't tried yet. Alpine Air. Um, they usually run anywhere between like $6 per meal to like $10 or $12 per meal. So, I mean, some of them sound really delicious. I haven't tried to tell myself just because they are on the pricier side, but I'm sending right now, I'm sending a good backpacker meal to each of my trail family members on the PCT right now. So I hope they enjoy that. <laughs> I'm sure they will. I would also say anything, just you want to keep in mind whatever you're sending, you want it to be pretty lightweight. I know that's stuff with baked goods, but for other things that you're just buying at the store, when you're through hiking, obviously you have to carry everything on your back that you're not, that you are carrying out of town. And food is, it can get so heavy if you're not careful. So make sure that you're picking lighter weight options. And that's why these backpacker meals are great because they're made for backpacking and they are lightweight. But some other things I'm sending are like these crunchy peas from Trader Joe's. I just did a Trader Joe's resupply run. Trader Joe's is so good for a resupply for a care package. I got them this instant cold brew coffee. This is glass, but I don't expect them to actually take the jar out on the trail. I assume they'll just dump this into Ziploc bags. Um, you know, any, any way that you can sneak in some veggies or fruits because nutrition on the trail is not good usually. So if you have any way to send like, you know, veggie snacks, these are the fried okras, you know, the crunchy okras from Trader Joe's. They also have broccolis. I know, um, if you could get freeze dried or dehydrated vegetables or beans, those are great sources of nutrition out on the trail. Also got them some dried fruits. This is another great way to get nutrition out on the trail. And I mean, come on, it's delicious. I love the mango and the pineapple from Trader Joe's. I also love Target has a line of dried fruits as well. And I've been getting those from my backpacking trips. So I really like the blueberries and the cherries. I know one of my friends really likes this matcha green powder and this is super lightweight. This is like individual serving packets. So any individual serving stuff, perfect for out on the trail. Candy, always great out on the trail. I would say chocolate is iffy because, you know, there are times on the trail when it gets to be pretty hot and that's just gonna melt straight away. But any candies that aren't gonna melt are great because like if you're having a tough day, 
some quick sugar sometimes will turn that day around for you and get you over a tough climb. And I know that I ate a ton of candy out on the AT. No regrets there. <laughs> Maybe too much candy, but no regrets. Any special seasonings that you can get? This one's pretty popular, popular, everything but the bagel seasoning. I mean, who doesn't love everything bagels? And you know, the food on the trail tends to get a little monotonous. So any kind of like special seasonings are great. And on that note, if you can find any little, like little bottles of condiments, like the mini ones, I know that they sell, for example, like different hot sauces at World Market. Those are fantastic. Again, just to mix it up, make your food less monotonous. Or even if you've been going out to like fast food restaurants or something and you see the little condiment packets, those are always useful. Those can always be used out on trail because it's like, you're not gonna bring a bottle of mustard out on the trail, but you might bring a little packet of it or a few little packets of it, things like that. Delicious snacks, of course. I got them some sesame honey cashews and also some trail mix from Trader Joe's. These are not like light, lightweight, but again, I assume that they're gonna mix these up between the four of them and put them in Ziploc bags. So it's not like they're gonna be carrying this heavy bag out there, but there are, if you send too much, it's okay because at different hostels and hotels and outdoor stores, they'll have things called hiker boxes where if you have some sort of supplies or foods or whatever that you're not going to use, but you think another hiker might use, they can throw that in the hiker box. So if they end up with more food than they can carry, it's okay. They'll just share it with their friends or throw it into a hiker box and another hiker will benefit from that. I also got them some peanut butter filled pretzels, always delicious. Some little individual packets of olives. I don't know if they like olives, but I love olives. So I saw these and I was like, oh, those are perfect for backpacking. Any kind of electrolyte powders are great or those little chewable, like energy chews. There are different brands. I know Scratch Labs here makes them, Gatorade makes them, lots of different brands of those. Any like really energy dense, you know, protein bars or energy bars or any of that stuff because it's always, I feel like through hikers are always trying to get in the enough calories in some way. And again, you have to carry all your food on your back. So lightweight stuff, energy dense stuff, anything like that. And if you're sending, if you're intending to send them a full resupply for, you know, from the time they get into one town until the time they get into another town, Ask them how many days of food they're gonna need. Usually it's probably gonna be about four to five on the AT, maybe a little bit more on the PCT. I'm not totally sure about that, but then you can just plan out like, okay, that means they need five days of breakfast, five lunches, five dinners, and then snacks for those days. So you can kind of plan out like, okay, that means I have to get them five meals for dinner. I need to get them, you know, enough bars to last five days, enough snacks to last five days. Or, you know, you could just send them a partial resupply and just send them a bunch of goodies and say, okay, let this supplement your resupply, which is what I'm doing with my trial family because there's four of them and just getting them this amount of resupply is pretty pricey, so they can handle the rest. But anyway, so those are a few ideas on how you can support a through hiker out on the trail and how you can send them a resupply box and what to include in there. If you guys have any questions or you want more advice on what foods to include, don't hesitate to reach out. Please let me know. I'm happy to answer questions and help guide you. And gosh, I really hope that my trout family likes the resupply box that I'm sending them because that would be embarrassing if they did it, but I think they will. There's some pretty darn good stuff in here. And like I said, you can never go wrong with Trader Joe's resupply. <laughs> but if there's no Trader Joe's around you, totally cool. I swear I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just obsessed with Trader Joe's. <laughs> but anyway, reach out. Let me know if you have questions. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you did find it helpful. Engagement is always helpful to push my videos out to more people. Um, thanks for watching guys. I always love to hear from you. Make sure you reach out and I'll talk to you all later.